Good afternoon. Welcome to the parish community of Mary, Mother of God. We would especially like to welcome our new parishioners and all those visiting with us this weekend. Today we celebrate the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We begin our celebration in song. Please join in singing number 395, Here I Am, Lord, hymn number 395 in your Breaking Bread Missile. said to be the most popular hymn in the church today. And we praise God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. We call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather all the nations into the peace of your Father's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You come now in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. You'll come again in glory with salvation for your people at the end of time. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, and you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. And we pray. Grant, Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, 
for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side, denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin death, and thus death came to all men inasmuch as all sin. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin after the pattern of the trespass of Adam who is the type of the one that was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression. For if by the transgression of the one, the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? 
The word of the Lord. God. you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor a secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. Don't be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Why not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. Don't be afraid. You're worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Kind of an important Gospel. So, as we speak, perhaps, or all week, and they started in North Scranton. I don't know why they started here, but the powers to be have the, uh, some company reassessing the value of every property in Lackawanna County. It's called reassessment. It is a politically hot potato, controversial, whatever. So what is your property worth? Very interesting question. I suppose the problem is going to be one guy looking at one house may evaluate more generously maybe than somebody else evaluating that same house. I, I, I don't know. When the numbers come out, it's bound to be very controversial because many people are going to be paying more taxes. And doesn't everybody love paying more taxes? No. What are you worth? What are you worth? What are you worth is a much more important question than what is your house worth? Very interesting gospel today. Jesus says, why are you afraid? God's, God's in control. He knows if a bird falls from the ground, you're worth a flock of birds. You're worth every bird on the planet. Why do you, why do you worry so much? Why are you afraid? The word be not afraid, that phrase occurs 103 times in the Bible. Do you, do you really believe that you're worth more than all the birds on earth? If you really believe that, how can you be afraid? Oh, my God. It's a very important religious point. The heck with the reassessment issue. Do you, classic Protestant theology. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. You're going to go to hell probably. Classic Catholic theology. I am wonderfully made in God's image and likeness. That's why we're Catholics. Well, that's why I'm Catholic. Somebody else might want to be a whatever. But Catholic, God, God knows he loves, he has you in the palm of his hands. You're worth more than everything in the world. Why would you be afraid? We think sin makes God love me less. 
No, 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 no. God can't love you less. I might love God less because I sin. I might be less aware of how much God loves me because I sin. But it doesn't make my value drop. Sin does not make God love me less. I'm made in his image and likeness. I am his child. For us, his baptized child. He's not going to love us less. There's nothing to be afraid of. Especially judgment. God, well, listen to the song we just sang. You are merciful and forgiving. Do we really believe that? I hope we do. See, if you, if you understand how much God loves you, you make a very important distinction. God doesn't take care of it. God takes care of me. Big difference. Suppose you get a diagnosis of cancer, and some of you have. That's a... That, that's, ouch. How do I get to Sloan Kettering in the other way? And, and we're gonna say a prayer to God gets rid of the cancer. Father, say a prayer, the cancer goes away. Well, miracles happen, but the cancer's probably, I, I, there is no prayer that gets rid of cancer. God does not get rid of it. God takes care of you. Big difference. Big difference in the way we pray. God's always gonna be there for me. So that, Maybe I undergo the chemo and I, I, a woman loses her hair and she's devastated. But God, give me the grace maybe to get a wig or a rag or whatever so that I can maintain my dignity. Give me the grace and strength to deal with that and the getting sick and nauseous. God, give me the grace to deal with that. He won't make it go away, but he takes care of you. And just maybe... By carrying that cross with grace and dignity, somebody else looks at you and says, wow, God is working through that person, giving them the grace to deal with surgery and throwing up and losing your hair and all that. He won't get rid of it. He'll take care of you. Or you're having financial problems. You know, we'll go over, go over to the store and get the lottery ticket. Let me know how that makes out for you. <laughs> you're not going to win the lottery. And God's not going to make the... The utility, cancel your bill for heat or light, it's not going to happen. But he might give you the wisdom to say, can I cut back spending here? What do I need versus what do I want? Maybe teach me to live more simply. He'll give you the wisdom to do that. He won't get rid of it. He'll take care of you. Big difference. The Christian can't be afraid. And not be afraid. It's in the Bible 103 times. Don't be afraid. You should only need to hear it once. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll profess our faith in Almighty God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again in the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He'll come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. We put our prayers before Almighty God. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For bishops, priests, and deacons, and all who lead and teach the Catholic faith, 
May they remain courageous and steadfast in their efforts to speak out on behalf of religious liberty. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil authorities and all in service to the common good, that through the gift of wisdom, they may work to uphold religious freedom and conscious protection of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the rights of individuals and institutions to conduct their professional lives according to their religious convictions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all first responders and our military and those doing dangerous jobs, may the Holy Spirit guide and protect them daily. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, may they see God's face in one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died especially, for the living and deceased members of the parish, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be with Jesus in heaven forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us end the petitions by praying the vision prayer. prayer. Jesus, we are your people. We praise you as Savior and Lord, deep in our commitment to you, your church, and each other. Let us all share more actively in spreading the good news of God present among us. Help us reach out to those who have not yet experienced the joy of participating in parish life. Inspire us to seek justice and peace for all members of our parish family and beyond. Assist us in living your gospel of compassion and love in service to those in need, mindful of our many blessings. We are especially grateful for your gift of our parish family, family dedicated to Mary, Mother of God, spouse Joseph, and our beloved saints, Anthony, Vincent, Stanislaus, and Stephen. Lord, send us your spirit. Make us alive as we have never been. Let us celebrate together and place our hope in you. Amen. As the gifts are presented and the altar is prepared, please join in singing number 399. These alone are enough. Number 399 in your Breaking Bread Missile. Take my heart, O Lord, take my hopes and dreams, take my mind with all its plans and schemes, give me Take the very breath. 
my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Receive, O oh Lord, this sacrifice of conciliation and praise. Grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offerings of hearts pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us a redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your son by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sin we had lost in disobedience. So with the angels and saints, we join in an unending hymn of your praise. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We proclaim. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ever evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. During communion, please join in singing number 307, In This Place, number 307 in your Breaking Bread Missile.
go forth with the grace of the power and the spirit that is here in this place. We are gathered at table as one in the Lord. We are gathered as people who are living the word. Our hearts and our spirits are nurtured by grace. It is Jesus who fills us. He is here in this place. Though the world may tell us to look at ourselves, we reach out to another where suffering dwells. As our hands become Christ's hands, we are here. So today, for the first time in two years, we had a, an ordination to the priesthood down at the cathedral, so I ask you to keep our new priest, Father Morris, in your prayers going forward. We, we need 50. I'll take one, but we need, we need 100, but we'll take one, so pray for him. A Bible school begins this week. It's always one of the best events of the year for the youngins. Grandchildren, nieces, nephews, or your own children, if you have kids of that age group, it's always a great week. Starts over in the gym. We have a lot of fun. You know, we're going to have something like an adult Bible camp later on. That should be fun. But for this week, it's just the kids' Bible camp. Also, on Sunday the 9th, and you guys probably largely go to this Mass every week, but after the 11, we're going to have a cookout like we did last year, just out on the grounds, just having proud to be MMOG, hamburgers, hot dogs, fun and games. Not a fundraiser, just, just for fun. And that's why we're proud to be MMOG. We do stuff that nobody does. So that's, again, you guys probably come to this Mass. You could go to this Mass and show up for the cookout. You don't have to go to the 11 o'clock Mass, but it's certainly more convenient. So a lot of stuff coming up at Bible school tomorrow. Very, very important for the kids. Let us all stand to pray. Renewed and nourished by the Eucharist, we ask your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be ours as a sure pledge of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us, our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God. We conclude.